Grace and joy to you, family. It's Chaplin, and this is another Monday morning Manor Moment. Hey, I've got a devotional thought for you today. A question. Would you like to walk? That's right. This question is asked in this wonderful story that we've been talking about. In Acts chapter 3, verses 5 through 10, hear the word of the Lord. So he gave them his attention, and expecting to receive something from them, Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, I give you. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he, the lame man, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. And all the people saw him walking, and they saw him praising God. And then they knew that it was he who had sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were all filled with wonder and amazement at what happened to him. Beloved, as we come to the end of this amazing story, these last weeks we've been reading and talking about what God was doing in the first century church. As we come to the close of this narrative, Here we see the lame man who was at the gate looks at Peter after asking and offering an arm from him. And Peter says to him in amazement, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I offer you now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And the Bible says that Peter extended his hand as an invitation for the man to encounter Christ, to get to know him. And guess what? The man never says a word, but he gives Peter his hand. Oh, what a beautiful picture. What a beautiful reminder that the world is hungry and hurting and laying on the side of a road of life wounded and lame from birth, separated from a holy God because of sin. Guess what they need? The right hand of fellowship, the invitation to come and meet the King of glory, the Prince of Peace, the Lamb of God, Jesus the Christ. I believe that God still uses the gospel and he uses it when we extend our hand and give people the opportunity to come and meet him. How about you today? Are you like the disciples? Are you available that God may use you to extend the right hand of grace, the right hand of mercy, the right hand of compassion, and invite somebody to come and meet the Savior? Well, my prayer is yes. I hope it is. And I hope yours is a desire. Like Peter and John, the Bible said that when they did this, a miracle happened. You say, what was the miracle, chap? Well, he jumped to his feet. You see, by faith, he accepted and wanted to meet the one and receive what Peter and John had the offer. And then the text says, and everybody around who knew this man, knew his situation and saw him at the gate, they rejoiced in the Lord at what all God had done for him. You see, beloved, God is still doing miracles. And I praise God for you today because I'm a miracle. You're a miracle. Anybody who God saves is a miracle. Well, hey, this has been a man of moment. I'm your chaplain. It's time for a man of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our college today that as we work together, love together, do life together, you would continuously give us a heart for those who are wounded and laid on the side roads of life who are in need of a personal, intimate relationship with your son, Jesus Christ. Would you give us the capacity and the love to extend the right hand of fellowship to invite those who don't know you into a personal, intimate relationship with you? Thank you for this amazing place that we call Wheaton College. Bless us now and continue to give us a heart for those who are lost and who are separated from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, beloved. May you have a glorious day today. Continue to do what you're doing for the kingdom. Peace.